I want to share with you something um, that, that happened in my own family worship time. Uh, I was, as I was trying to, exp- I was explaining things to the kids, I was realizing that uh, they may not have an o- a complete overview of the Bible, and I've never sat down with them and, and showed them that. So what I did with them yesterday was actually what I'm going to do with you right now, just doing a- an overview of the Bible, just so we can get a big picture of what is happening, what happened both in the Bible, and then how, and then that way we can figure out uh, as things go through. So what we're going to look at today is just a very mountaintop view of the Bible. So I just call this Bible 101. We're going to start with the theme of the Bible that God is love. Now we're going to get to all that here in a second, that God is love. You're splitting up into two different sections of the Bible. One is Old Testament, and then the second is New Testament. Now Old Testament, you have split up into four different categories, four different uh, areas or, or types. You have the f- law, which is the first five books of the Bible, Genesis through Deuteronomy. You have the history books, or Joshua through Esther. You have the writings, which is Job through Song of Solomon. And then you have the prophets, uh, Isaiah through Malachi. Jumping over to the New Testament, you also have four different, four different sections. You have the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You have the Acts of the Apostles. You have the letters, or the epistles, and that's Romans through Jude. And then you have Revelation. Now, to give you a summary, a very, again, a very short summary of, of each one, you have in the first five books of the Bible, or the law, or the Pentateuch, if, if you're reading, if, if you're studying that, the, the law is you have creation that you see here in blue. You have creation that God created us in Genesis 1 and 2. You have the fall in Genesis chapter 3. You have the patriarchs, and you also have Noah in there as well. But then you have the patriarchs, and starting in Genesis chapter 12 with Abraham, then Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. And then you see, starting in Exodus, you have a Moses and how Moses, the story of Moses, and then how he led his people to escape. And then he wrote the law. Now, Jump down to the history books. You have the kings of Israel and other uh, vital characters of the Hebrew faith. You have Joshua and Judges. You have the Judges. You have King uh, Saul. You have David. You have so- you have his son Solomon. And then you have the the split between the northern and southern Israel. So you have all of these uh, all of these incredible stories. The story of Nehemiah and Esther. Man, they're incredible. And just and so going through those. Then you have the story, or then you have the writings. The writings of incredible men that are, are in also in here. So Moses wrote some, David wrote a bunch, Solomon wrote a bunch of these writings. And they're writing down how to live for God. And some are songs, some are poems, some are, but they're writing how to live for God. And they don't just share with you the, 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 hey, this is how I was, I did it incredibly. They share with you how to live for God, both through their triumph, but also through their tragedy. And, and what they did wrong, and this is what this is what's going on, and and how can I do it? How can you know learn from my mistakes? Then you have in the prophets, you have the major prophets and minor prophets. Now they're going to be uh, there's a bunch of, there's there's some debate on on what what is called from one. Why are you going in, into uh, different categories? However, so what we're just going to do major and minor is basically who they spoke to, whether they spoke to a per an individual person, whether they spoke to individual towns or cities, or whether they spoke to nations, and even the length of what they spoke to. But all of the messages that they have is a message of repentance. Thus saith the Lord, the, New, the King James Version says. Thus, so the re- message of repentance. Then when you jump to the Gospels, this is a, this, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are all about the life and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. God sent his son and the life and sacrifice. That's what that's about. Then you have the Acts of the Apostles. This is how the early church got started. What's going on? How did, how did this happen? What was the, what's next after this? After Jesus was resurrected, what happened next? Then you have the letters. This is the theology and, and wisdom of, of not only how to be a Christian, but how to be a church. And, and Paul writes to church leaders, and, and this is how you can conduct yourself and, and that kind of thing. Then you have Revelation. Revelation, or as it, has a, it studies eschatology, the study of end times. And this is when Jesus comes back. Now, I started with telling you that the theme of the entire Bible is God is love. So what I want to do is I'm going to walk you through every single, uh, every single section of the Bible and, pr- and show you that God truly is love. 
in the old, starting in the Old Testament, God is love because in the law, He created us. He not only created us, He planned to redeem us. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. He, he already planned to redeem us. And in the, in, in the law, He gave us rules to follow. And, and as like a parent does, as he's walking through the, as we walk through the first five books of the Bible, if you follow the rules, then you're blessed. But if you don't follow the rules, then there are consequences. And so he is loving us much like a parent loves a child. When you look at the history books, you look at in the history writings from Joshua to Esther, it shows how God loves his people. And how God's sovereignty is paramount. How, how God is working and involved in every single person's life. And we see in the writings, it, it's God, we, we know that God is love. And how to, we, are, we are told how to love God well. We are told how incredible God is. We are told what God does. We are told how we are to look to the beauty of the stars in order to love God well. Then when we jump to the prophets, we are to love God because he, we are to listen to God. That this message of repentance, we are to listen to God, even when the message is unpopular. We are to listen to God because God is the one that created and started, us, started it all. So once we see that, once we have the writings of the Old Testament here, then we, have, then we jump to the writings of the New Testament the New Testament with the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the life of Christ. God shows us His love by sending His Son to both live and die for us. Then we jump to the Acts of the Apostles. The Acts of the Apostles, how the early church got started. God is showing us how to live as an early church. What happened next? What is going on? He is showing us how to establish His church. Not our church, His church church lovingly guiding and directing us we also see his guidance and direction in letters in the early church fathers the holy spirit is working in every single person who wrote any of this bible he's working in every single person and telling us how to live like a christian and live for christ and then god shows his love in revelation because in the end, no matter how you interpret Revelation, in the end, God will reign. I hope that this was an encouragement to you. I hope this was a challenge. And I hope that you learned something from this. I know that I, was, I went through this all very, very quickly. But I hope that this will be an encouragement to you. If there's any interest in me doing and digging into each one of these a little bit more, just let me know. I would love and be honored to do that. We'll talk to you soon.